Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is all about behind the scenes. What's going on behind the scenes during your spiritual transformation and where is this transformation leading you to? We have three piles from the left to right. The first pile is tree agate. The second pile is citrine. And the third pile is dendritic agate. Pause if you need a little bit longer. Pick the one which calls your name the most. And I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello pile number two. If you chose this tree agate, this is going to be your reading. So the picture that you chose is um, a pair of lips over here. I can see a little bit, there's a sort of like a eye for detail that I pick up over here where I can see um, the front two teeth as well. I think that when we talk about lips, it's not just about the picture that shows me really luscious pink lips, but it's also about this, the truth, the speaking ability, um, also about the throat chakra is what I really feel. But since this is pink, it's also giving me a lot about speaking your truth and what really matters to you is all about self-love that I feel over here. So this is completely my own individual interpretation about your reading. And what I feel over here that you're going through is a lot about um, noticing how you react to certain situations and what you say and what you don't. Because I think that the amount of abuse that you've been through is something that minimizes your ability to speak your truth. Whether that means that you come across as... Um, aggressive or whether that means that you're just not able to say your truth because you're scared that your opinion is not valued all right so we're going to see the first card that you have is soul number 37 that reduces to 10 this says the energy of soul activates our connection to the part of us that is now closer to higher realms god or the divine so I see the ambiguity in this card which talks about higher realms, God or divine. I think this can also talk about the fact that this transformation is leading you definitely closer to your soul, your spirituality, but it's also enhancing your ability to understand what do you believe in, what do you worship, what do you believe in, what you put your faith into. And I feel like this time is also teaching you to understand how do you you embrace your spirituality certain people like to um, follow religious texts or they have their own religion um, that they really really indulge them in, into certain people like me for example i am not very religious i am open to all religions i definitely believe that all religions have um, you know ways to teach us and but i'm not binary to one religion I am almost very open to all texts and I almost have this sense of like um, I pick religious texts that help me uh, move forward so I don't remain attached to it. That's my form of spirituality. So it really depends upon what you are cultivating because for me to also get to this point to understand whether I'm religious or not was a lot of trial and error um, reading about other religions that are not the ones I was born into or um, just exploration right it's about exploration what your soul calls you to and you have to go through that process of trial and error right so i am picking up heavy on muslim and um, christianity over here um and this is to talk about certain things that make our mind quite constructive and i feel like maybe you have an attachment to your religion that doesn't uh, kind of enable you to explore your spirituality um, and this is not at all to hurt anybody's sentiments but certain times we have restrictions that make us a little bit less cooperative to our spirituality if i would place that in a more sensitive manner right so i feel like what i'm seeing over here is a lot about understanding your own self i'm gonna take out an oracle card these are like just 15 cards i can't shuffle them so i'm just gonna see which one comes out for you all right so let's see the first one we have love compassion life giving so i think that what this transformation is leading you towards okay i'm gonna open the other one oh 
definitely healing transformation and life changes um you can see how this um, image both has roses over here somehow i'm getting the um reference of tattoos you might have tattoos you might have roses you might have a serpent um there's an inclination towards breaking barriers from what you have been taught so that you can actually embrace the person you want to be it's like i'm getting the word liquidify like you're trying to unmold yourself in a way um and break free from certain things that are not visible but are mental barriers that um just don't help you proceed forward with your own um definition of love right because we all kind of understand what love is with with understanding what love is not to us right so i see over here there's a lot of growth um with the life giving and compassion card you can look at this there's you know sort of flowers growing out and there's buds um so this heart is really becoming like a fertile soil and it's really telling me that you are being led on to this journey of understanding um how to grow and cultivate your own truth rather than um sort of like uh, plucking other flowers and understanding that this is my truth it's almost like a really trial and error phase for you i think that um you might be making quite a few mistakes or you're just um breaking barriers is really the word that i get you're um, redefining what love is what faith is to you and i think that you're going through experiences that are um, really deep deeply um, changing you from inside right um, and i think that if you relate so far it's a lot about again i get trial and error it's about difficult circumstances that you're going through and i feel like they're difficult because at this point um, they're really challenging what you've already known right so now that they're challenging the, a way of living a way of being a way of believing a way of faith it's like a, your faith is also being tested is what i'm feeling and i feel like it's not being tested from the divine right you're always very very lovable to the divine in however shape or form you you come across right or just come as you are but i think that this is a lot about how you perceive yourself and how you perceive your relationship with the divine um for somebody over here okay take this if this resonates um sometimes when we go through narcissistic abuse um we relate god as the narcissistic parent that we we had in our lives so sometimes we think when we're not doing things right god will punish us or god will take away the love that they are giving us because we haven't done things the way we think we think i repeat myself we think that god expects expects us to do excuse me and um to realize that god does everything and they know the repercussions and the consequences and the way that you're going to behave and still um loves you is for you to just release this burden of pressure that um the favor that god gives you or the hand of god will be lifted off you just because you make a small mistake okay never feel like god will not forgive you or whatever you believe in okay i think that this is a lot about the faith that you have within and just to understand that god is not like that parent that you had or that person you had who would take away their love when you would make a mistake okay so just believe that god loves you no matter how you behave who you are and just come as you are i'm hearing just come as you are it's a lot about just understanding that you are lovable exactly how you are in this moment today when you receive this message okay pile number one so now we're going to get a few tarot cards for your reading we're going to see what you're actually going through pile number one so apparently the deck feels a little bit more heavier and um what i take away from that is that maybe your heart is heavy about certain things that you have done and you're finding it difficult to forgive yourself or you're finding other people um a little bit you're being a little judgmental towards them is almost what i feel or it's just because you're not able to forgive yourself in certain areas and i think that this reading is meant to find you when you're trying to find peace in what has already happened so we have the eight of wands this can be about communication or this can be about missed opportunities as well or this can be about incoming opportunities it's a lot about something that is very close to your heart and your soul perhaps um let's see how that fits 
we have the page of pentacles and the four of cups so definitely this tells me about maybe a missed opportunity or something that you feel unworthy of um this phase i feel is majorly fixated upon you opening your heart to certain opportunities that um the divine or the universe is bringing to you okay and certain things that are like um small building process it's almost like you see substantial value in them but you're not um, believing in the success of these things perhaps or just the success of putting in work in small um wins or victories that are visible to you right now in the moment so it's again about faith right um understanding that what we're watering into will blossom into a huge tree that will bear us fruits right sweet fruits so this is about um what you sow and what you reap in life um, we have the seven of cups again this is a lot about certain choices that you're being led to make right now in the moment bottom of the deck i'm seeing the six of cups um along with the temperance okay again this is so much about your faith pile number one this spiritual transformation is rebuilding your faith in divine and your divine plan i am seeing a sparrow outside right now i am gonna google the spiritual significance of that but the six of cups is such a significant card this could also be about a soulmate in your life or just things that make you really happy or made you really happy as a child now this can again um, talk about i want you to take a closer look at this card you can see how this person is growing but the child is still sort of entrapped over here and this is a lot about freeing yourself from what you have been taught that limits you comparatively quite a lot if you look at the cards over here uh, seven of cups six of cups and four of cups all have this sort of mandala over the top which sort of like gives me um the way of life the way of living in a way what goes around comes around so you are understanding the um intensity of making such decisions decisions that are not maybe well thought of but i think that this also puts you in an analysis paralysis now the flow of the reading is really easy and i think that what uh, it's really just determining at this point is about how much you're giving outside of you to receive back um, one of the theories that i'm being led to share is that sometimes we think that the love we give in certain situations is not returned back to us it's because we're limiting our view to us so supposedly you invested a lot in a romantic relationship relationship and you're feeling like you didn't get that love back it's to understand that that love is coming back to you you're just not able to see in the shape or form it's coming back maybe it's coming back in the form of a lovely pet that you have maybe it's coming back in friendship maybe it's coming back in the relationship you share with your grandparents people that still want to spend time with you and you're just kind of ignoring the voices because you're kind of a little bit feeling down you just don't want to talk or you're just too occupied in the moment to live with what you actually have so i think that what this is telling us is almost like um as much time as you need to replenish yourself rejuvenate try to find different ways also to reconnect with your own soul because maybe sometimes you know we have conversations and we don't know they're being divinely led and we we don't understand what's the benefit of having these conversations and giving our time to other relationships and cultivating that bond but i think maybe pile number one there's a sort of um, emphasis on you being a little bit um self-indulged which is which is not helping you come out of this sort of analysis paralysis you need to let yourself feel other things rather than just feeling the burden of pressure of making the right choices and doing the right thing and being the perfect student you know um, god does not care and god does not like perfect god always breaks the perfect to make them realize that god is a lover of the imperfect and it's completely okay to not know the right decision it's okay don't get caught up too much in deciding what's right or wrong make the make the most comforting life-giving decision that you can feel in the moment without feeling the consequences of it or feeling like you have this burden of pressure and i feel like there's such a contradictory energy because maybe you have made certain decisions that have not been the best and then now you're being led to make certain carefree decisions and i feel like this really comes down to understanding what is your 
what is your vision or your definition of success and the more that you try to understand what actually makes you happy the decision will become easier you know the heart always knows what it wants but it's the mind that confuses us so um, maybe taking a little bit more time to indulge with people that you know live from their heart they have that zest for life they will inspire you um, to differentiate between what's worth your energy and what's not and maybe if you're not able to find that answer within yourself right now in solitude it would be a good idea to go out there i'm not saying that you go out there and rave but i'm almost saying that go out there and find like-minded people go out there and try to find inspiration in other people right you you never know when somebody is sent to give you more guidance in life right that happens with me sometimes and it's like at this point i'm so aware of the signs that universe sends me um it's just the way you perceive things right so it's about seeing when a friend is telling you something and they don't even know that they're giving you a hint which is sort of like bespoken by the divine right you don't you have to kind of read between the lines but don't also go out there searching through every nickel whether it's a gold or silver like it's almost like you just need to let yourself be because i think that you I understand that you overthink because you're worried but this this is a time maybe you try something else and try to surrender the whole decision making process on the divine just try to do the maximum that you can to make yourself happy in the moment all right so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card hopefully this reading makes sense because it is kind of um contradictory so I think you would understand if it's for you because I think that maybe you are in a complicated situation um, but it's all about you're not able to determine what's important to you and it's because you are looking for it in the wrong places you're looking at it very logically which is disconnecting you from your happiness um, and you need to uh, understand what's your happiness so that the so that the decision can become easier for you so that you don't have to put so much effort into making the right decision rather than understanding what actually makes you happy it's honestly really simple but it's the mind that sort of confuses us and puts like ifs and buts and what ifs and it's like you just need to quiet the mind and i think that inspiration you're not able to find within right now will be fine found in other places if you just give yourself the peace and sort of like patience to just be yourself because i think maybe you're getting pulled by all limbs to make the perfect decision and you're forgetting who it really needs to serve it needs to serve you pile number one the decision needs to serve you and your well-being it shouldn't be causing you so much stress that um you know it's taking all your happiness away right so we had a card that flew out i'm not gonna pick that up we have crown games right use of power so i majorly see that this is a lot about your crown chakra now it's almost giving me a bottom of the deck i'm seeing vanishing mirror ego sublimation so this is a lot about um a karmic phase that you're going through about understanding what your heart really wants i'm hearing that song heart wants what it wants by selena gomez so it's almost like um defying all odds and just going ahead for what you want um and this could relate to career this could relate to a romantic partner this could relate to anything that is really dearly to you because that's why it's causing you so much confusion right and it's to realize that this has to be um first and foremost you have to choose yourself pile number one so if something that really matters to you um is being diluted um because of what others want you need to bring back that power to yourself right do not allow other people to dictate your life or make that choice for you um because it's only going to lead to more resentment you're going to feel i'm getting this energy of fomo like you're going to feel like you missed out on something just because you put somebody else's happiness above yours um and conclusive of that i feel like that's why we have this card of vanishing mirror ego sublimation because this really tells me that there's something that you want to go ahead with in your life and this transformation is sort of contradictory with what you have been taught um that's why we spoke about religion and spirituality um and i feel like uh, you know anything that is overly excessively indulged into is bad for us right anything that's too much is bad for us so you have to draw align with anyone and anything that is excessively pulling on your heartstrings right so a lot about um 
regaining their strength from within and understanding that no this makes me unhappy you know and it's not it's not worth indulging in if it makes me so unhappy and it tears me apart right so this is about choosing yourself and understanding that what you've been taught does not mean that just because you're not making the right decision for other people it means that it's wrong right it's a lot about understanding what you want in this life right what do you desire what is your heart beat for and that's what's almost gonna make you feel really happy we have mindful group things so this is again a card a lot about what you've been taught what other people think that would be the right choice for you maybe you've been looking for answers here and there and that's where there was this sort of specification about not going around talking to people who um, go around in the rat race of life maybe you are not looking for answers in the right place is what i mentioned before and it's a lot about talking to people who actually have that success it's not about talking to people who have accepted the defeat of life um, it's almost like asking for a romantic advice from a person who doesn't have their ducks in a row in the romantic sphere right um I'm, I'm not trying to criticize anyone but it's a lot about to understand that where are you taking your advices from who are you making your role model is it somebody who has that success in that arena or is it somebody that is just projecting their insecurities onto you and making you feel like you can't have it just because they couldn't right that's um the sole differentiation that i'm trying to give you all right so before we conclude file number one we're gonna get a couple of advice cards for you file number one what do you need to know Okay, I think this deck doesn't want to speak. We're gonna take Yeah, I think this one feels more surrender presence freedom. Okay. Bottom of the deck curiosity and joy. So like I spoke about the fact that this decision needs to bring you happiness above all. It should not put you in a place of unhappiness or resentment that I made that choice for somebody else. But now I feel like I'm missing out on something, right? Um, with the surrender card, this says supports us to let go, illusionary control and yield to the flow of love and life. It's almost like maybe pile number one, you overthink so much because you want to make the right decision. And this could be led by a place of feeling a fear of abandonment that what if I make the wrong choice i will be left with nothing this is to realize that anything that goes away from your life was never for you and there's so much power in just letting things go and letting it be rather than tormenting yourself mentally and emotionally um trying to make the right decision right it's also about presence which says supports our ability to focus our full attention and stay in the here and now so whereas i feel like there's surrender in the part where you need to stop putting so much pressure on yourself to make the perfect decision rather than what actually makes you happy and feeling like you'll be criticized by other people you'll be abandoned you'll be banished or whatever extremity that you're imagining in your heart just let it go because um the past you can't change that right now forgive yourself for what happened in other people the future you cannot predict it right the, the anxiety major anxiety that we have comes from future predictions and our own ability to grasp the situation or what it will be right and then the moment there's no issues right in the moment you can just be here and now and be happy with what you have and what you're planning to do um and with the freedom card it says supports our sense of limitless possibility potential boundless expression and bold exploration it's a lot about you getting into that energy of feeling like yes i can make sure happen for myself and um what if things go wrong i have trust in myself that i will get through it just like i have always got myself through in every area of my life right it's your ability to trust yourself and the divine to understand that anything that will happen will happen for the best of you and everybody else involved in the situation i think that you need to know that it will happen not just the best for you but for everybody else in this situation 
situation okay so don't be so worried about um, other people's happiness before your own all right so pile number one this was your reading i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number two if you chose the citrine this is going to be your reading so the image that i have in front of me that you chose is a lot about i get a very orgasmic expression over here i'm, I'm definitely interpreting this intuitively and what i feel about is about enjoying yourself and i feel like this is not extremely sexual but it's a lot about your own sexual expression i get a lot of sacral chakra energy but what really catches my eye is the blue around the woman's shoulder and her chest area which really tells me it's a lot about the authentic expression from within now i feel part number two this is a no brainer for you that you are being led on to this journey wow i just gasped um on this journey about just expressing yourself um involuntarily like not thinking too much and just being how you want to be and flowing through life i get a message um that you might have a message in pile number three as well if you feel guided to watch that check that out but i feel like over here there's something that is being brought from within i feel like a sense of hesitation but the gasping that i had is almost like the person that you see you want to be in the mirror is something that you can't really digest or it makes you feel like i won't be accepted by other people i'm going to open your card and see what do we have wow we have transformation 42 reduces to six which is a lot about balance but it's also about protection from your angels for me the way i interpret this is a lot about um you can see how the blue color is really um brought to light over here it's very vibrant uh, with the purples over here but there's a lot of blue that i'm talking about throat chakra expansion i think that you are also um becoming more sensitive to life and um there are certain things that you know and realize have a lot of meaningful synchronicities um and you're i feel like a sense of um I'm getting the word flabbergasted or like gibberish like a lot of things that weren't making sense before are making sense right now and um the fact that i said that this is a no-brainer for you that you're going through this transformation to become um, a true version of yourself is why we have the card of transformation over here right it says transformation supports our ability to gracefully flow through life try times of transition and growing wow it, it says allowing the old to make room for the new and i said growing so there's a little bit of a tongue slipping that i have over here so bear with me i might do that often over here but i feel a sense of like things coming to my brain like my crown chakra is really channeling but then when i start to speak those out it's like it's gibberish like it's just slipping through my you know it's almost like this really tells me that the way that you see yourself is not somebody that you're exactly exactly be able to um embody in a way like you're scared of judgment perhaps i'm gonna take out a few oracle cards for this um these are barely just 15 cards i can't shuffle them but let's see what we have for you okay so the first card that i took out is rebirth death symbol of the feminine so you have a lot of um, transformative energy coming through so again no brainer pile number two you know that you're being led to this transformation what is happening behind the scene is the cultivation of new you the cultivation of the new you that wants to emerge we have slowing down pacing yourself so you can see that both these imageries have uh, the liquid bottled up inside and the person wants to kind of get out of here so i think that this is sort of like um getting extinguisher fire extinguisher you're trying to soothe the pain that you're going through because you're kind of coming out of a new skin um and this energy is almost like i'm saying things but they're not exactly forming in the way that i want them to form out and this gives me the energy that things are not going exactly the way that you want them to you're manifesting certain things but they're not coming out the way that you want them to and this is sort of making you a little bit paranoid and you know that it's releasing a lot of control it's releasing a lot of control i think that you have emerged from pile number one and three um but there's this sense of just being like um 
I just I just really don't know what to do anymore like because you're so confused about these things and you're just like I have to go with the flow because you're realizing that things are not in control with you and this reading is more like a confirmation rather than something that's going to explain you what's going on behind the scenes because I think that your crown chakra is really activated right now and you can see certain things that are happening that are happening for your best and what makes you really uncomfortable is the person that's emerging from inside it's very different to the person you have already been so why there's a tug of war between the old and new is because the new is scared to come out in front of the world. You have purity, patience and self-awareness. Definitely. You know, the symbolism of lotus, I don't know if you know, but I'm going to explain that. It's almost like... Um, the lotus grows in mud right and it's a lot about it, it, it overcomes every negativity around it and if you see the lotus when it blooms it ha it doesn't have really mud upon it and it still stands out right so this is a lot about the fact that you have this awareness coming through that you are very unique like every other person in this world right you have something that's very unique to offer to this world but there's also a sense of just feeling a little bit shy about who you are and what's exactly i feel like again a no-brainer that's happening behind the scenes is this internal strength coming in for or relentless self-expression i feel like guided to pick out another card from this deck protection survivable strength so this is a lot about you coming out of your survival mode um we have healing transformation life changes and independence curiosity exploration so now you can look at the cards how they changed right the middle two cards were bottled up and now there's a lotus which i spoke about the symbolism of that and then we have a lid that's opening up and there's a hot air balloon coming out like a cactus so this is almost giving me like a thick skin can't prick um so this is a lot about you just coming out of your shell and becoming the person that you've always wanted to be pile number two so this is quite um, a drastic change that I'm hearing from spirit that is happening in your life and I'm hearing a lot of past life karma being resolved right now so this is something that you're feared to do um, in your past lives as well that spirit is teaching you how to overcome in this lifetime and uh, they're bringing my attention to allowing the old to make the room for new it's a lot about just letting things happen because i think that now you're stronger than ever like you had not been in your past lives and this is a lot about the wisdom that you have accumulated in your past lives with the tortoise and with the whale over here as well so the whale stands for a lot of deep emotions and the tortoise is sort of like the stow and steady right it's a very wise but i uh, uh, wise totem animal spirit but also with the shell that it has upon it it almost gives me like you have been in the survival mode which keeping yourself in a certain way not wanting to attract too much attention to yourself you have you maybe you've been through um physical abuse and that uh, sort of like uh, limits your ability to liberate and express yourself in the way that you want to dress you don't want to attract a a lot of attention towards you right so this is the energy that i mainly pick up over here that you've been doing a lot of things out of survival mode that it's painful because this these things are changing right now and they're sort of pushing you to just become who you want to be without the pain in a way right you're wiser than ever but it's also teaching you how to embrace yourself without letting the pain hinder your ability to express yourself I think you're really scared of your parents approval in this way I'm getting that for somebody seven of cups over here so this is like a Pluto energy uh, Pluto stands for destruction um, sex addictions just addictions to substances it's just drastic change i would say drastic changes that are happening that might be making you feel uncomfortable and the person that is emerging from within um your your taste might be changing your sense of style might be changing i feel like this is a lot about the way that the physical body shows up that is changing and you're scared of other people judging you because you were quite um i'm getting the word damsel in distress but that's not to make you feel derogatory it's just in a way where you looked a certain way and now this sort of like self rescuer is coming out in a way so the card that we have is six of cups so these two cards were in pile number one you might want to watch that um but this is a lot about you freeing yourself from who you already have been the ace of cups unconditional love for self and we have seven of pentacles so this is again a lot about you strengthening your roots from within no matter what comes through no matter how rough the wind gets you're able to just um not get swayed away from other people's opinions and this is a lot about what 
what I feel like what's happening behind the scenes is a lot related with how much you used to let other people dictate your own life. Now, this could be uh, different choices about the person that you want to be, about the person you want to be with, about the person who wants to carry, uh, pursue, uh, pursue a career that's a little perverse to their family business or their family ethics. Uh, you Maybe you want to study another religion, maybe you're inclined towards something else, but this is something that you've been meant to break as a personal as a personal karma or individual lesson and i feel like this is something that you've been fighting to do for quite a few lives now and what i see over here is a generational pattern breaker because you are also breaking patterns from your lineage your ancestry but i also feel like this is difficult on you because you're doing quite a lot and this is nothing to make you feel like you have a lot of burden of pressure i feel like this is something that your soul has really wanted to exercise has been trying to exercise and this is for you to be informed that you can do this right it's nothing that is excessive for you it just feels like that because you have kind of been um molded to think that you can't do that it's all mental i feel like this is a lot about mental barriers breaking down and this is purely spirit's way of telling you that you can do this it's just a mental tormentation that you do to yourself in those moments where you want to change the way you want to make action oriented decisions but you're not able to because you're scared of what my parents might think i said i think somebody's parents over here are a heavy focus for somebody so you you kind of have to see how that fits okay this could also be somebody's spouse is what i'm feeling so we have the card sky writing the fates so this is again about past life things and things that are faded and i feel like the sensation of somebody's soulmate also over here who has triggered this transformation um we have the card net netcaster preparations come to fusion so we have many masks the authentic self and me talks repairing the body mind spirit so i'm gonna take this card me talks I see that over here that this is um, if you can see that there are a lot of closely related numbers 49 42 39 and 38 so they are kind of rounding off closely and I see this energy of um, completion coming through like after this um, you're going to be more strengthful from within you're not going to get swayed away by what other people say maybe you've had a large group of friends that kind of tell you what to do or they have very strong opinions about how life should be this could also be a little bit of peer pressure over here where you want to stand out and you've kind of felt oppressed your whole life because you didn't have the strength to just be as weird as you want to be right um and i feel like there's a sense of this mask falling off because now you're getting kind of frustrated of being what other people want you to be right so this is a lot about the fact that spirit is encouraging you and this transformation is bringing about a change of self-expression which is orgasmic to you right um, in the beginning, the picture that we saw is a lot about self-pleasure, right? And what makes you happy internally to be and show up as in this world, all right? So I'm going to take out one oracle card again. We have protection, sharing, friendliness. So this is again about um, sort of like finding like-minded people. And the more that you try to find who you are, you will align yourself with like-minded people, okay? Don't be scared just because you might be lonely for a while just because you try to show who you are. But that doesn't mean that's the end of it, right? You're not always going to be like that, pile number two. All right, so before we conclude, I am going to get an advice card for you. We're going to shuffle the tarot deck for you. See what advice do we get for you, pile number two. We have the lovers. I'm going to take this in reverse, the devil in reverse. And we have the three of swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck, three of wands and the sun. So this is kind of um, interesting that we have the lovers. This can also be about a choice, okay? So I'm not going to take this as a romantic um, advice, but... Um, for some of you where there is i think that you need to heal more to understand whether this is the right person for you or not and apart from that i think that what we have over here with the lovers is a choice to combine yourself to align with your true authentic self and remove these negative codependencies in your head as to how to move forward in life and the more that you heal through this pain the more that you allow this process to crack open your heart because there's a lot of awareness coming to you you are not somebody that is blinded to the truth is what i feel 
pile number two so let this transformation take place and don't take decisions based off the way you think things should be take decisions based off the way you think it will make you happy and proud of yourself in the future all right so pile number two this was your reading i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number three if you chose the dendritic agate this is going to be your reading so the picture that you chose is sort of like a man in a, sort of like a sand dune but it's very rainbowish very webgyore it's got a lot of colors and i feel like a lot of kundalini awakening so you're going through something pretty major it's really unblocking all your chakras majorly the color that i see standing out to me is the color red which is on the left hand side the above left hand side top left and i feel like this really indicates about your abandonment issues healing right now i feel like you are also somebody that has fear of intimacy as more as we dive deeper into the sphere of abandonment i think that you're becoming a little adverse to the concept of com commitment and relationships and um it's almost like i feel like there's the sense of um uh, the more that I dive deeper into it, the more scarier it becomes because it wasn't visible to you before. And now the closer that you're getting to it, you're feeling um, the degree and the intensity at which it has always affected you. You're seeing the sort of um, synchronicities and you're seeing your own patterns come alive. Right now you're able to see and map out everything, how it has been in your previous relationships, how much this wound has affected you. If you can see closely, there's a trail or of um, water it's almost like um you know it's giving trail because it looks like a footpath and there's division of two streams of that river or sand dune in a way um it's just my interpretation it's kind of getting really imaginative for me right now right next to the body figure there are two streams sort of flowing and it really tells me about a do or die situation I mean, it's not to make to that not to make that so drastic but i feel like it's a lot about um, a choice that you have perhaps a choice about um expansion in life whether what you want to do uh you've already done you want to take that choice or you want to make some other new choice that you have not explored and i feel like maybe there's a slight chance that majority of you are inclined towards taking a new opportunity in life this could have been related to a person it doesn't have to be but it's just a way of living life and understanding that i need a new exposure in my life i need to explore more um to derive a better personality from within or a new persona from within so there's a lot of creativity right now i think that there could be also fatigue involved as of now where you're trying to understand what's really going on because it's taking a lot of energy from your emotional body there are a lot of spiritual upgrades going on through this transformation and i feel like this is really just highlighting the areas that you have always been bruised and it's about nursing those wounds but you're kind of also scared to touch them because they're hard but i feel like the majority of focus that i feel over here is on the fact that now you can see uh, how deeply it has been affecting your relationships the way you perceive love and the way that you act upon love as well so it's about um, making new choices that are better with keeping this wound in hand but also realizing that i can do better it's about you know this quote where it's like you don't have to be fully healed to be in a relationship um but you can definitely heal and flourish with the right person it's a lot about creating that secure attachment style in a connection with another person rather than being with another person that you always have been now um i feel like there's an energy of you majorly choosing people that are avoidant attachment style that visibly show you that they're fearful of commitment and you kind of go there um because you have this pattern within where it's like um maybe like a fixer or maybe you just want to see whether they'll change for you or not and this could come from a parental figure who has sort of led you down and has not changed their ways when it comes to emotionally expressing emotionally creating a secure environment for self expression and self-acceptance as well and i think that this maybe comes from a maternal figure or this could also be a paternal figure but i'm more inclined towards saying maternal figure now you could have learned these behavioral patterns from this person but majorly i feel like there's um, 
sort of like the world is my oyster kind of an energy even though you have this pain inside it's not really blinding you anymore because you're not ignoring it anymore you're looking at it and you're kind of dealing with it head on in a way um even though i feel like to be realistic sometimes you don't want to look at it but you know in the back of your head that it exists and i feel like saying that it's good you know um because we can't always be doing shadow work um, and it's not recommended to always be doing shadow work, but I think that you're doing the best that you can in the moment. You're really trying to get up. I feel somebody's energy over here, which is like you sometimes really just can't get out of bed because of the way that you feel. And you might have a divine counterpart as well who's provoked you to do so much. And maybe right now you're just thinking whether I still want to hold on to this counterpart or not, or whether I want to choose somebody else in my life or just um create space for a better relationship because i've learned so much and now i want to give myself the benefit of the doubt to do better rather than to go on with the same sort of um circus is what i'm hearing go into the same fiasco with one person so we're gonna see the card that you have oh sensitivity so this says sensitivity helps us open to the world subtly and detail while anchoring in a structural foundation thus supporting us to become more fully multi-dimensional so this is really telling me about the fact that i spoke about you kind of like scraping off the band-aid and like even the scabs and like letting things just come to light about how sensitive you feel about certain things and people who have not been sensitive enough to understand your emotional body because of course you know they're not that sensitive to themselves and with the dendritic agate this really tells me about this is a stone that helps us create create peaceful in my environment so this is a lot about this transformation leading you to understand that you're maybe manifesting somebody who's a better version of themselves as well as with you um and you're wanting to create a partnership where you can also be your best version you can also exercise the lessons that you've learned this new person that you're becoming you want somebody that can embrace it rather than pull you back into that unhealed version of yourself is almost what i feel so we're going to pull out a few tarot cards There's a lot of like, um, I get an energy of how should I navigate this through in a way I'm feeling. Like what would be the best course of action? Because you're definitely becoming more softer, more politer, more okay with sensitivity or becoming okay with, maybe you used to be quite aggressive and now there's this energy of you're just becoming okay, like this is what I am and I don't want to yell or I don't want to bicker, I don't want to fight for what's right or for what's what should be mine or the way I should be treated in a way, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot about just being okay with what has happened and now making better choices for yourself. So this transformation is definitely making you wiser, but it's a lot about um just being okay with things i'm hearing that song as it was with by harry styles so it's a lot about um in a way not being very nostalgic you might be um but i sense that this is a lot about just being like it is what it is you know it is what happened um this person is how it is and uh, this is also heavily in relation with a soulmate or a twin flame a, a very deep spiritual relationship that you have with someone who has kind of pushed you to the edge to realize that they are what they are you know and um it's not at all to make you feel in a way that that person is not worthy of love or they can't improve but in the moment you're seeing them for who they are um and maybe it doesn't match your level of needs in a relationship they're not there where you are in a way we have the ace of wands in reverse so this deck was supposed to have all upright but i'm going to take this in reverse so I think that you're kind of in an energy of um, feeling a little uninspired maybe towards this person or just about romantic relationships where you're, I wouldn't say that you're playing hard to get, but you're just kind of unimpressed by the options that you have. Um, and I think that this is also because you're not finding the right kind of emotional depth that you're looking for because you are somebody that's quite deep. Um, you've done the work to look inside. You've, you've really done a lot of work, pile number three is what I feel. And it's um, not something... I want to make you feel boastful about but proud about 
out that you have actually reached this level of um, sensitivity, emotional depth, awareness, um, acknowledgement of self, soul searching is the word that I'm getting. You know, you've done a lot of soul searching to re eradicate this layer of trauma and ego. And we have the card of um, Page of Cups in reverse. So again, you're not looking for someone who is going to give you sort of like um half ass investments or half ass efforts in a way um, and i feel like you're looking for someone who is really really ready to make it work and fight their own inner demons we have the divine in reverse why are these all cards coming in reverse i think i might have shuffled them for reverses but we're gonna see however it goes so i do have the card of um king of wands underneath the deck and we have the king of swords in reverse as well so this is a lot about healing from your past and your childhood mainly that i feel over here now with the divine card in reverse this talks about a spiritual connection that you feel um is this in reverse can really immediately top of my head it really gives me that you're kind of fickle minded about choosing the divine connection that you already had always pre-existing in your life because you you kind of are turned off by this person right now you're not you might be still feeling the connection you might be feeling the love but there's a level of i would say you have outgrown this person right now and what's happening behind the scenes is almost like i feel like this person is trying to catch up but i feel like the the more that you understand that it is what it is it's also that this person is a little behind you and that is for a reason that you and i cannot understand right um but there's some way or shape or form that the divine is kind of encouraging you to go out there and find your own happiness or create that with somebody else as harsh that might be to hear because you might also be attached to this person right i completely understand the human emo emotion of cre have created memories with someone but there's also a part of you which also knows that this is not really fitting with my vibration anymore you know this person needs to do a lot more work so this is a lot about you understanding your emotional body and being like like um well i've really stuck around for a while and this is not giving me what i really want right this is a lot about understanding that i kind of want what i want and it's not right here i'm not able to see it right now so we have the card of intuition this really wanted to pop out um okay so it wants us to talk wow bottom of the deck connection Connection supports our ability to find alignment, resonance with other things and ideas. And we have the soul card. So um, pile number one might resonate with you. But this is an energy of you feeling almost like um, you're trying to align with somebody that aligns with you as well. And this is not a sort of energy where I feel like you just swipe right and you find somebody. This is a lot about you finally stepping into those bigger shoes and calling in somebody who's already got their big boy pants or big girl skirts on, right? It's a lot about um, somebody who also probably shares your level of sexual expression, creativity, because you want that exploration in life. You want to experience that amount of zest for life within someone as well. And I think that you have... Uh, sort of had people that are not exactly on your vibrational level and they don't actually enable you to embrace that power from within because when somebody is on a lower vibration they tend to become an energetic vampire whether you realize that or not so having that bilateral sort of like um, exchange with another person is what you're looking for and your intuition is guiding you towards it i almost feel like it's helping you let go of it and i want you to understand pile number three that it's okay to take your time don't get impatient with yourself take your time slowly by slowly separate yourself from this person energetically if you feel like and i know that this can be painful you might not like to hear this it can be a phase of grieving and mourning over the connection that you had but you don't have to sort of just make up your mind that you'll never meet that person again you know let's be realistic okay i want to be more realistic and bring you a more peaceful message rather than something that makes you feel conflicted right after you watch it i want you to know that you can separate ties you can just let this person be on their own journey for a while if it's meant to be it'll come back to you otherwise meantime you wouldn't have resentment for waiting on this person and just thinking that they will come up come up come up right you should have the confidence and the courage within that time frame or in your just in your own life to just move on and be like 
um, you are so dearly to my heart but I think that my heart wants a little bit more than that right it's not about the way that you feel about that person it's more about the way that this person makes you feel all right so I feel like this is a lot about you just gathering the courage in the moment to maybe not spend so much time just thinking about where they are because you've put your happiness in this person's hand right so let's get another oracle card for you what is actually happening behind the scenes for pile number three where is this transformation leading them the wall obstacles benefactor grace and generosity bottom of the deck drifter experiencing life as it comes and eye of the needle intentionality so i immediately feel like it's not about giving up hope on your sort of like you know the person that you really love and you feel this insane spiritual connection with but it's also to understand that there are blocks in this connection for a reason it is for you to understand that um kind of like we don't get always what we want in life the moment that we want perhaps it's not a no for you for always you know but it's also to understand that it's just not happening in the moment right and i think pile number three that you are wise enough to understand but just because emotionally you feel so much for this person it's difficult for you to just be like okay i'm gonna move ahead you don't have to do that right away you just have to make small small teeny tiny baby steps every day do not invest so much energy thoughts emotions into just one person all the time and allow and create more space for perhaps just friendship with another person right so about opening up your heart to another person i feel like this is a lot about allowing yourself to move on from a relationship that you're kind of dilly dallying because you're attached and then you also know that you can do better right i think that this will resonate with the ones who understand and this reading is truly meant for um, I don't want you to feel pressurized after this reading to immediately just pack your bags emotionally and check out of it. It's just to make that small, small understanding every day that you deserve a lot better than just waiting around for somebody and that doesn't make that person bad. It just is to understand that this is how things are playing out. Instead of finding reasons to blame that person or to blame yourself or the universe, just understand that this is how it was meant to play out. Um, this is the reason why there's certain reasons why we you and i cannot understand why it's blocked but it's just for us to understand that we deserve a lot more better instead of spending time in understanding when they will come how things will progress it's just better to let it be and enjoy the moment that we have right now in our lives right it's more to value our time in this lifetime and value our um, way of living rather than sort of like sulking and waiting for somebody to arise so that we can enjoy life right it's about knowing what you deserve pile number three so before we conclude i am gonna pull out an advice card for you pile number three i feel like your guides are so protective about you and this is something that they can't do for you right and i think that they've been communicating with you wanting to let you know how to go ahead with this but it's just when you decide that you know i deserve a lot more better and i'm not doing this to make anybody spiteful or just put a fake face on i'm generally doing this because i deserve better i deserve to just be happy and i'm not going to blame anyone for not showing up for me or not doing anything it's just because i want to live my life and my time is precious my time is precious repairing the wheel forgiveness number 45 so they're saying this card is more than enough we have gathering around the power of community and bottom of the deck i'm seeing beloved radical acceptance so i'm going to take this card so it's a lot about not blaming this person for not showing up for you you know we don't know what's going on exactly with that person what are their emotions and the way they're feeling and i feel from spirit that they also have a lot of guilt for not showing up for you because they want to they also feel this burning sensation for you just the way the way you do exactly and they have their own karma to resolve they have ways that they have to go before they can reunite with you in a way that they have not before and 
this is their work of karma this is their side of karma that they have to deal with and perhaps your side of karma and i mean to again um, explain this that karma is not bad it's just things that we have to understand learn and grow through so your karma is also in a place where you forgive this person for not showing up for what they have done and the ways that you have allowed them to treat you and also to understand that your happiness should not lie in another person's hand whether they show up for you or not or waiting for them to show up so you can feel happy again because if you're not happy with yourself right now even the return of them will not make you happy pile number three so this is for you to just let go of the situation don't hold on it so much is what i'm feeling i feel like you get a little panicky whenever somebody or something indicates that you need to let go of this but it is for your best i really really do assure you it is for your best okay so pile number three this was your reading i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye